So Eantra is a project based out of IIT Bombay, which is funded by the Ministry of Education. It's been around for 12 years. And over the last 10 years, especially, it's been training students. And we've gone from training students to training students to become innovators for local disruption, who will turn problems into opportunities. Now, why is this important? India is a rapidly growing economy. It took us almost 60 years to become a trillion dollar economy in 2007. And then it took us seven years to become two trillion dollars. And then after that, three years to become almost three trillion dollars. That's where we are trying to uh, get to at the moment. In this kind of very fast growing economy, there's a huge demand for products and services of various kinds, which might exist or might not exist. And typically, if you import it, it's very expensive. But if you make it locally, you can make it from scratch at about one eighth to one tenth of the cost. And you know, our demographic dividend, 50% of the population is below the age of 25. So it's these youngsters who should be making all these new products and services that the country really, it really needs. But why doesn't that happen? We have almost 1 million engineers who graduate every year. Why don't they do it? That's because of the nature of our higher education system. It's very exam oriented. It doesn't teach them practical skills or how to use their hands, working with their hands and stuff like that. So this is where Eantra has stepped in. And for the last 10 years, it's been equipping students with the skills of actually building stuff and building machines to solve problems. And one more thing that we anticipate in future is that more and more computerization, more and more AI and machine learning and automation is going to remove all the low skill jobs from the economy. A lot of our software jobs, for instance, are low skill jobs, testing and stuff like that. Those are going to disappear. Every sector is going to get affected by it. You name it, healthcare, logistics, manufacturing, you name it. So the solution is that we have a generally good quality human resource. We are amazed by the quality of the manpower in even the smallest of colleges. But they have no practical exposure. They are mostly unemployable. And as a result, placements are very poor. But the economy has huge opportunities for these guys, for graduates with skills. So what we are doing at Yantra is that we are empowering and training these young engineers and trying to turn them into the kind of resource that the country really needs. Okay, so we train them in design of solutions, investigation of a problem, using modern tools, working as a team, which is extremely important, communication skills, and to have a global uh, perspective, right? Be aware of things other than engineering and things like geopolitics and geoeconomics and things like that, uh, because that's going, what's going to really affect your markets in the future. So we have two major initiatives through which we train these students. One is the Eantra Robotics Competition, where we train you in skills. And this year's theme has been agriculture. So you had a variety of, 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 uh, of uh, themes, if you like. A theme is like a problem statement. And each theme this year had roughly about 1,200 teams working in it. We had six teams. And each team has usually about uh, four people working in it. And then we have, once we've trained them in skills, we train them in innovation and entrepreneurship systematically. The way we've done this is that to make it easier for them to learn marketable skills, we've developed technology stacks. One is a mobile robotics stack, right? Which is here on top. The other is a drone software stack. And then we train them in how to build embedded systems and stuff like that. And we train them in how to use open source software, which is uh, the software foundation lab, how to use Linux and how to take data from the net and crunch it and stuff like that. We teach them IoT skills. We've, we've developed a totally free and open source stack right with which you can build iot applications some students have used it for instance at uh, uh, a college in kerala to uh, to run a hydroponics greenhouse over about 1.25 acres and they've tripled the yield of uh, their hydroponics produce by using the technology that we've shared with them and in all this we give them mentorship we train them in innovation and entrepreneurship and then we help them with all the skills to go to market, right? And what is the impact of this? A couple of years ago, we took all the feedback from these the students, put it into a word cloud software, and we found that we are impacting their self-confidence, we are impacting their technical skills, and we are impacting their problem solving abilities. So until now, we've almost uh, um, trained almost 
200,000 students who registered for the various initiatives, trained about 6,000 plus teachers, and we have uh, engaged with three, two, four, five plus colleges throughout the country, right? And as a result of this training that we've been giving the students, they've been spontaneous startups. They are kind of empowered to think differently. So we have a bunch of startups like this is Drona uh, Automation in, uh, in, in uh, Bangalore, which is doing sewer cleaning and pipe cleaning robots. Catamaran, which is using uh, uh, building mobile robots of various kinds. In fact, they've sold security robots to markets in Singapore, uh, for instance. Surveyan, which is doing mine surveying drones, basically, that you just, on a Google map, you just indicate an extent of a mine. It will autonomously fly this drone and estimate the material that you have in the mine. Heavens Designs, which is doing uh, solar energy uh, systems. Carloman Systems. Uh, uh, we have another drone uh, company with the Pavan Attavane, Advitya Labs, and we have a latest startup, which is Rymo the Technologies, which is doing uh, physiotherapy equipment using the skills that they've learned in Yantra. Okay, so we also establish labs, which are like places where we seed an innovation culture, entrepreneurial culture in a college. And we have about 430 labs across the country. And this gives you a kind of footprint across the country. We have labs even in, in uh, Bangladesh and in Bhutan. I spoke about the technology stacks. So along with the stacks, we built platforms, right? Like this, uh, E-Wi-Fi Megaboard for IoT, fiber robots for uh, training embedded systems. And this vehicle, mobile robot, the universal robotic arm. So this is interesting. What we've done is that we bought, we've purchased a mobile robot from one of our startups, Catamaran Technologies, and we've integrated it with a commercially available uh, a collaborative robotic arm, which is made by a Danish company and marketed in India. And now we have a mobile robot which can roam around and do stuff, not only in agriculture, but in manufacturing, in logistics and, and whatnot. So what we train students in is the skills to take control of a machine like this and make it do something useful. Here's our AgriBot, which we devised here, and it has an end defector that plucks the tomatoes. So what students have been trained, 1200 students were trained to work this mobile robot inside a virtual greenhouse, right? Virtual mobile robot, virtual greenhouse, they were trained in all the skills. And once they've done well in that, the five finalists were given time slots to actually program this robot of ours uh, online through the internet and they actually programmed it to go and pluck the tomato so it's doing image recognition of various kind a selection of a tomato then mobilizing the arm to actually go and and pick the tomato as you will see this is a simulated the tomato in the greenhouse because we wanted to present the same uh, same plant to each of the teams so we actually mimicked a real uh, tomato plant and um, the stalks are attached with the little magnets, so you can actually put it back. But with a real a tomato, you'll have exactly the same issue. But these are the skills that we actually taught the students over six months. And as a result, their research portfolio increases and they can do lots of cool stuff. In summary, what Iantra is all about, it says that jobs are in short supply. We need an entrepreneurial mindset in the students. We need a can-do attitude in them. And the opportunities are there galore because the Indian economy is growing exponentially. So we need lots of novel products and services and every problem we see is actually an opportunity. And the entrepreneur is embedded in the opportunity. So what we do actually, we not only train you, but we are actually building innovation ecosystems at scale. And all the work is done by the same guys who are taking part in our competition who come and join the project and work with us and it's a bunch of youngsters below the age of 25 who once they've spent some time at IIT even do an MTech or a uh, PhD. So that's what Iantra is all about.